got over 1,600 pound-feet of torque. It's made from a combination of, well, old tractor parts and light poles. And has the ability to actually tow New York to Los Angeles if you so choose. And I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to drive it. Welcome to Big Muscle. My name is Mike Musto. Each week I travel the country with the goal of showcasing the best and baddest muscle cars and hot rods around. Every car has a past and every owner a story. Welcome to the world of Big Muscle. Here at Big Muscle, we love rat rods. To some, they're just rolling rod boxes cobbled together from scrap metal and bailing wire. But look closer, and many times you'll find that the workmanship, artistry, and overall uniqueness of these vehicles far outshines many big money builds. The frame rails, for instance, are made from old municipal light poles. The gas, clutch, and brake pedals are a mix of an old spider gear with a few nuts and bolts thrown in for good measure. And those little scoops on the hood? Yeah, they're from a pair of old steel-toed boots. This car is about as far out as they come, which is exactly why we needed to film it. What we have here is a 1931 Ford uh, with a 1952 Diamond Rio tractor motor. The motor, the trans, and the rear tires are all from a 1951 uh, White's water truck, which is old farm equipment. The motor has 275 horse with right around 1,640 foot-pounds of torque. The frame rails are light poles from the city of Hollywood. Uh, they act as re resonators for the exhaust. The wishbones are fence posts. The uh, headlights are from a 42 Buick. It's a real Duval windshield. Uh, the motor's got over a million miles. The cases have never been cracked open. It smokes and pukes oil, but you know what? It runs like a top and it'll do another million miles. So Henry, I'll be honest with you. I'm a little bit nervous about driving this thing. Um, Take me through the process of what we've got, what the switches do, and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, well, you've got your standard clutch, brake, throttle. Okay. Um, to start the power on the car, there's one switch. Lift okay. it up. That'll turn on uh, the pump for the airbags. Okay. It'll turn on the charging system. Mm -hmm. Then it's uh, make sure it's your neutral and it's one button. Starts right up. It's like a hybrid. First button up is uh, front bags. Okay. Second button to the side is rear bags. Okay. And that's rear, the whole rear, deal? Ready to go. It's going to be a cool day, man. It's going to be a really cool day. Should be interesting. Yeah, it should be interesting. <laughs> You know, and you're wrenching this wheel. I mean, look at my hands. This is nuts. 
I'm gonna come out of this thing. I'm gonna be black from top to bottom. And you know what? I'm gonna love every minute of it. <laughs> the airbags are off of a RTD bus, which is a, L, a old LA uh, transit system. Uh, there's one dead center uh, right here, and there's two in the back. Uh, it raises up right around nine and a half inches. Uh, there's a shock on each side of the bag and then one on each side over here. And then there's two in the back and that's just to, to kind of keep the car stable, but it pretty much all rides on the bags themselves. And then the wishbones are connected to Heim joints, which are off of a landing gear off of a Learjet. So this thing's built bulletproof, it's made to run. And you look at it and you're like, this thing's not gonna go anywhere, but Aside from you sliding around, this thing is on rails and it'll do a canyon all day long. I mean, granted, it'll do it at 45, but it'll do it at 45 pulling your house. <laughs> you know, this thing, this grenade shifter, let me tell you something, it's a bomb for a reason. <laughs> turns and part of you was holding on for dear life. Part of you was waiting to see if there's something around the next corner because if you hit it, they're finished. There is literally a piece of mesh leather on the bottom of my ass and his ass and as soon as we turn, we're sliding all over the place. As far as back support, I have news. I'll definitely be in the chiropractor's office on Monday because, I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh yeah, see that short shifted right in the third. I'm like, I'm like a professional now. <laughs> spectacle. It's the fly in the ointment and the black sheep of the family. Therefore, we can think of no better place to take it than down to the most look-at-me strip in the United States, Rodeo Drive. Not only did we get looks and comments from everyone, but we even got up close and personal with one of the local residents. I mean, what you guys can't see right now is that we just stopped and the crowd of people. What's up, guys? That just crowded around this thing. It's like insane. I mean, you know, how do you beat Hollywood Boulevard in a rat rod that looks like this? You want a picture? Absolutely take a picture. Yeah. One of the best details about this car is not the car itself, but its owner. Henry is a guy who loves to see reactions. He likes that people young and old smile and scratch their head at this thing, and his philosophy about the car couldn't be better. If you got a hot rod that you put $150,000 into it and it's a $20,000 paint job, you don't want anybody breathing on it, you're not going to take it out. 
this thing I could care less. You know, I enjoy it, I love it. I, it would kill me if something ever happened to it, but you know, when I go to a car show, I'm the only one that, you know, tells people, oh yeah, you, you know, you're taking a picture next to my car, why don't you throw your kid in there? Are you serious? Absolutely. You know, that's, that's how you get the next generation into wanting to, to get into the car culture. I, I honestly don't know what to say about this car. You know, you, you look at it, you drive it, and it, it beats you to death. The clutch is like pushing in a sledgehammer every time you try to engage it. It belches black smoke and soot and dirt, like literally the likes of which I've never seen. Like, you see, this is like a white cloth, and if I go like this, that's no longer white. Guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Big Muscle. Obviously, email us at um, drivebigmuscle at gmail.com. And I'm going to take a shower in a little while because I'm just dirty and, like I said, worth every second of the day. Thanks. The best is everybody that just looks. People have no concept of what to make in this thing. How you doing? What's going on? Good to see you. Hi, how you doing? Good to see you. Hi, how you doing? How are you? Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. Well, welcome to Hollywood.